Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm going to be doing an update video on the lava amplifier. So this is the lava amplifier, which is right deep in this pit, right deep in the pit, to not confuse it with the pit amplifier. So this is the lava pit. The other one's the pit pit. All right. So this is just an update video on the previous build. Uh, even though the build I said last time was finalized, and this build is not really really much different to be honest. It's pretty much the exact same build where you pass them the same way. But it's just that I made some updates to it since I uh, last posted a video. So here we go in the update video. Just a reminder: down here is a spawn, and down here, uh, wait, no, not down there. Down there is the spawn and up here is the spawn and uh they would so this way with the path over here and the other one the path over there so if you want more de details on you know uh, what happened in my previous video just go ahead and click that so in this update though um what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna go over this tunneling just a bit quickly so this tunneling is a little bit different from last time um but it's essentially gonna be like uh the exact I wouldn't say the exact same but it's going to be very similar basically the only difference is that uh, I'm not passing them over here so I think last time I was passing over here where down below here is a drop off and I'm not passing there, there anymore I'm being a little bit more west now all right and because of that it's a little bit shorter tunnel but down here I have the tar pits with broadsides do a lot of heavy damage and the reason for this is that I want to ensure a hundred percent that a flinger or lobber is going to get killed before they enter in the floor launcher area. You can, if you want, put a gas trap on top of here, but I decided not to. And the reason being is because I had issues. Very rare, though, very rare, there was a collision between a smash or for like a smasher or something with this, and then they get flying out and then they go on down here somehow. Right? Just to avoid that collision issue, I just removed this gas trap. But if you feel like you know, have, never have those kind of issues, go ahead and place it there by all means. All right. Um, so in this tunnel, uh, yeah, we just went over that. It's pretty much the exact same thing. I have this over here. It's just like a, a lobber shield in a sense. I'm very, very skeptical about these lobber shields because I actually had a lobber lob from here. I'm like, well, or not a lobber, a flinger a fling from here. I'm like, what? Really? They actually really do fling from that far. Um, but yes. So I'm actually very, very skeptical about these flingers, especially uh, for this uh, amplifier, because in the 10.3 patch, which is the current patch right now, as of right now, this video, it will be the UFO wave. UFO wave is always, 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 uh, I wouldn't say annoying, but if something goes wrong, it can go bad really quickly, right? So that's why I really, really want to be safe for this, okay? Um, for here, I have a block off over for the west side, right? And this is to ensure that the flingers do not path over here towards the west. And instead, I'm going to have all the flingers path over here. So the flingers are either going to either path west, your tunnel, or on the east. And I'm going to want to make sure path them on the east, right? So I have a little, uh, I wouldn't say intricate, but there's a little, uh, what's it called? A uh, tunnel here, right? The recycling system for them or the assassin type plus right so i have it over here right um it's a little bit different from last time i think i just stopped it here but i went a little bit extra mile and pushed them all the way over here right and the reason being is because this is also going to work with my valley amplifier as well as the lava amplifier so it's killing two birds at one stone in a sense right so here i can go it can go for the valley and the other, it can also go for the lava where they can fling from here okay um, for the actual pathing itself is pretty much the exact same, right? Um, the only difference is that the pathing, I dropped them one tile instead of all the way down to three. So I just felt like maybe that, that would be better. I haven't had issues with it uh, previous in my previous video, but uh, I think I just feel like this would be a better drop to drop down one tile at a time instead of drop down three tile. Okay. And um, as you can see, I no longer have this huge uh, uh, soccer field arena. And the reason why is because um, it still works nonetheless, right? So the other, the other build will still work. I just wasn't comfortable with this uh, random arena, right? So instead, 
I just change it to block offs. So I'm using block offs and block offs will work. So there's a so there's a one layer extra block off over here, right? We're connecting down here. So this entire thing is one additional layer. This wall is also one additional layer, right? Uh, this wall is one additional layer with this row here. So that's two additional layers. And then this would be a three additional layers, right? Right over there. So it's three additional layers on top of this, right? And pretty much this block off from the previous video, uh, previous video is uh, should be pretty much the exact same. I don't think there should be any difference. If there is any difference, it probably doesn't make much of a difference anyway. Okay, so that's pretty much the block off. I think. Let me check. Let me check. That's there. That's there. Yep. All right. So that's pretty much the block off. These uh, full sandwiches, except for this one, it's not a full sandwich. But these ones are full sandwiches over here, because on the uh, for here, because you want to, generally speaking, for the path that's uh, longer, you want to have more block off. So over here, there's generally more block off compared to over here, right? So yeah, that's pretty much the block off over here. So I'm just going to close them up. And the reason why I have these these uh, ceilings in the first place is because on the other side there's a trap, and I really, really want to make sure that a, a lobber or flinger is not encouraged to hit on the walls to try to lob or fling. So I just have the ceiling for, uh, just for that. Okay, um, and I, oh, and also I added a lob, I want to say lobber shield, but a shield on top of my amplifier because it's a UFO wave. The UFO wave is, uh, you know, if the flinger is ruining your day, at least this won't like instantly damage your amplifier. So it gives you, it buys you a little bit of time, right? Um, if you want, you can even go a little bit all out and just like place a double layer on top, you know, but you know, and like some floor launchers on each side over here, but I did not do that. Um, okay, and last but not least, there is the uh, for the UFO. I have a platform for it, right? This is overkill. You can just stand in the lava island if you want. You can probably just stand in the lava island, like over here, or even just behind here, and just like wait for the uh, UFO to come, or you just like stay back here and wait for the UFO to come. But I like the uh, the platform personally, just because I don't know. Maybe I just like to be cool, right? And just use your leap attack and you're always on here and you are 100% safe 100% safe from the flingers over here and then from, uh, from here you can just jump here to your valley or I guess from there you can also jump to your pit let's see Ooh. From here, you can also go to your pit over here, or here you can go back to home base if you want to. Whoa, there we go. All right, as you can see, I didn't double jump at all. That means any character can do that. All right. So yeah, this is why I like this platform because it's also a nice way of transportation. You could use a directional pad if you want there, but instead I use a jump pad over here so I can jump down in here, right? And then if I want to get to the beach, I just use this over here. All right, maybe that was a little bit too strong. Maybe that was a little bit too strong. Let me go back. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, that would take you to like the beach. And then for devil, we're here. You can go to the devil lamp, or you can go to the ridge. Oh my goodness, it's just super strong. But yeah, it's just my way of transportation. But anyways, that is uh, that is just the UFO platform. That's mainly what it's going to be used for, really. Um, and you're just going to shoot down the UFO from here, and you can just kind of you know, get a good view of everything. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, lava update video, right? Um, the build is pretty much the same. It's just that uh, I made some changes to it since. Um, oh yeah, that block off, one more thing. And then and then that'll be it for the video. This block off, I made it five layers. Right? I, th I think last time, no, yeah, this is five layers. I think last time I was on five layers, so it's not a big, big deal. But, yep. Oh, I'm stuck. Yes, guys, thank you for watching the video. And I hope that you got something out of this. Right? Because this uh, lava 
amplifier, in my opinion, is actually one of the more difficult ones to build, at least in my opinion, to build it very, very good to the point where the UFO wave is not an issue with all uh, tons of smashers. But uh, yeah, all right, so have fun building, guys.